Welcome allergens! Hey everybody, welcome to Allergies Bites. But it tastes good! We're doing carnivore, and awesome. it's a big recipe. <laughs> it's gonna be a long so one? So it's gonna probably be a lot longer than usual. Okay. We're making manicotti, so there's different stages to it, mm -hmm. but it's totally carnivore, so come on in, let's do this. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna start off hot frying pan and one pound of ground beef. So we have to fry this up and make sure you um, smash it so that we don't have big chunks because you definitely don't want big chunks in this recipe. So we're going to let this cook and we'll be back. Okay, so our hamburger is done. We're going to just move it over to a plate. Now you're going to want it to cool some before we get to the next stage. So just spread it out on a big plate and we'll move on. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the fridge so that it cools down even more. Okay, so um, I bought these, it was accident actually. I'm sure. Cooking stuff? <laughs> Accidentally buy cooking stuff. Well, I wanted to buy a silicone mat and I saw these and they were like on sale so I thought, hmm, okay, I'll try this. I like this, I really like this. There was this one and then there was this one. I don't like this one as much. Okay. Um, I don't know why. I just seem to gravitate to this one a lot more. Because it's green? No. <laughs> See, this is... I've, I've washed it. I've used it. Yeah. And uh, I've tried it, it still doesn't stick. This one doesn't either. It's It seems to Lots have a smaller. different finish on it. I cut okay. them. Oh, okay. They come huge. Like, these are the two pieces... That came on top of it? That came, like, oh. with this one, eh? Okay. They both come about the same size. They're huge. So you have to cut them down to your pan. But uh, I didn't like this one as much. Hmm. But I do like this one a lot. So it's the green one. So if you're looking for something cool, this works for me. And because it's cut, I just slide it into place. And parchment paper, um, with doing these eggs, seems to kind of fold on itself. Okay. So you get these ridges and then it breaks and you can't make a total noodle that you're trying to make. So that's why we're using this. That is a lot of eggs. That's a dozen eggs. So you got 12 eggs in here. We're going to add one teaspoon of oregano, a eighth of a teaspoon white pepper, half a teaspoon of Redmond's sea salt. So this is like a Gaston meal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And one cup of cottage cheese. So I've been told um, some of my recipes are dirty carnivore because I use things like herbs, oregano, and mustard. And you don't want the oregano, don't use the oregano. You don't want the white pepper, don't use the white pepper. We use white pepper because it is supposed to be uh, better on the oxalates than the black pepper. Okay. So that's why we do that. But that's how I cook. So let's get her going. We're going to beat this up so that it's uh, really mixed well together. Well, also one more thing. Hmm. We are not health. We are food <laughs> substitution. It's food substitutions, yeah. Okay, so it's about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Okay, we're gonna pour this egg mixture onto this pan. I don't put anything, like I don't grease the bottom, I don't put anything like between this and this. This doesn't move. Yeah. This is really nice. Okay, so we pour it on there. That's really runny. Yep. But it's egg, so I mean it cooks solid too, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was thinking the first first time I did this, I'm like, um, that may not work, but it does. Okay, make sure your corners are done, and we'll put it in a 350 degree oven. Okay, it's been baking for 15 minutes. We're just gonna cut the sides off. My oven is kind of uh, not level. Yeah. <laughs> Which would be a lot more helpful if it was. 
So is our oven a little bit of a thief? It's a little crooked. Yeah. Uh, funny. And then I've got a ruler. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure three and a half inches. Make a mark. Three, six, seven. And then you come into slices? And then just cut it straight down. Your halfway mark. So these are going to be your manicotti noodles. Believe it or not, it does work. And then halfway across, six inches. And do the same thing this way. Good thing you're doing it. Why? I can't cut straight. <laughs> Okay, so in here I've got two eggs. I'm going to add a quarter of a cup ricotta cheese. That's a lot of eggs. <laughs> it's two. And a dozen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I want to show you something about this because I always say I take the thick part. I don't take the watery part. So in here, that yeah. I usually dump down the drain. Okay. Because I don't like using that because you don't want this stuff to be over watery. So you want dry yogurt? Well, <laughs> I want thick yogurt. And it's the same thing with the ricotta with the ricotta cheese too. I don't take the really thin stuff for when I'm doing the baking like lasagnas and stuff like that. So we got half a cup of yogurt and this yogurt is plain and it's a real thick kind. And then we're gonna put in a third of a cup of feta. Okay. Put that in there. Two tablespoons of meat flour. So I'm going to use a tablespoon of kidney and a tablespoon of liver. You can just use whatever kind of meat whatever flour. Whatever kind of meat flour you've got. But these are the two I'm going to put in there. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. Half a teaspoon of oregano, dried. Teaspoon of basil. Eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. And one cup of mozzarella grated. Okay, and as you can see, I think you can see it, we've got our hamburger sitting over there. Yep. So this is cooled down. We're gonna mix this up. Okay, so I got it mixed up really nice. We're gonna add our ground beef to it. Make sure you don't have any really big chunks because that's gonna cause a problem. And then we're gonna mix it all together. Okay, so we're gonna take one of the egg noodles off okay. and bend it in our hand. You see up here? Yep. Slide that over here. We're going to take about an eighth of a cup, like a eighth of a, a heaping cup. Okay. And these are still warm too, so we're going to roll it. It's going to sort of fit together. Some of them might not. And then you flip it on the cut side. On the seam? Yeah. And if it falls out, just push it in. And you kind of want to push it towards the outsides. So it comes off really nice off of the off the baking sheet. Yeah, very nice. And then an eighth. See if your hamburger is too, I've done it too though. Like my hamburger's been warm. Yeah. And I've just thrown everything in and wrapped it. It makes it a little bit more difficult because everything's so wet. Runny? Yeah. It melts the yogurt? Yeah, it melts the yogurt and the um, ricotta cheese. So it's not difficult. Um, if you split one or whatever, don't worry about it. They all fit together. See this one? This isn't going to close very well. But we're going to put it down anyways and make sure the seam is right on the bottom. Okay. You don't want that big of a hole. Just leave a little trench in the middle. Not too big. 
Not too much space between them? Yeah, but leave a little bit, but uh, I'll show you why later. Okay, and I'm just going to keep filling these guys and putting them on. Oh, this is a 9 by 13. And then you'll have about this much left. So that's why you've got this little well in here. Yeah. And you're just going to fill it up with this. Jam that in there? Yep. Just jam it in there. There isn't much left. If you have a little bit more, you can still stuff it in there. Then we're going to use two cups of mozzarella on top. Could you put mushrooms in it? Uh, if you want to, you can. Ooh. If you're a mushroom eater, yeah, definitely. I don't see I'm why a not. mushroom eater. <laughs> I don't see why not. Just fry them up with your hamburger. Good plan. Yeah. Okay, so we got two cups of that. Now we're going to put some feta cheese on top. So we got about half a cup of feta cheese. We're going to crumble on top and then we're going to stick it back in the oven. So it's been in at 350 for 40 minutes, so you can serve it like this. Okay. Looks pretty good, eh? Yeah. But we're gonna toast it up a little bit. I like the idea. Toast. <laughs> Put it on broil for a couple minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so we had it on broil for about two, three minutes, something like that. And then all you have to do is put it between. Fork. Scoop it out. Scoop it out. There you go. Look at Looks that. Good. Doesn't that look amazing? Once you get your wrist out of the way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. And then cut yourself a piece. Looks and good. enjoy some manicotti. Carnivore awesome. style. So we'll see you next week. Hope you like the recipe. Bye. Bye.